O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Wednesday the 8th of July. O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised, out of the mouths of babes at the breast. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what are mortals that you should be mindful of them, mere human beings that you should seek them out? You have made them little lower than the angels, and crowned them with glory and honour, you have given them dominion over the works of your hands and put all things under their feet. All sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the fields, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And we turn to our psalm, which is Psalm 119, verses 105 to 128. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed it to observe your righteous ordinances. I am severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my offerings of praise, O Lord, and teach me your ordinances. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I do not stray from your precepts. Your decrees are my heritage for ever. They are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to, to perform your statutes for ever to the end. I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Go away from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your promise that I may live, and let me not be put to shame in my hope. Hold me up, that I may be safe and have regard for your statutes continually. You spurn all who go astray from your statutes, for their cunning is in vain. All the wicked of the earth you count as dross, therefore I love your decrees. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. I have done what is just and right. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Guarantee your servant's well-being. Do not let the, goodless, the godless oppress me. My eyes fail from watching your salvation and for the fulfilment of your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your steadfast love and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding so that I may know your decrees. It is time for the Lord to act, for your law has been broken. Truly, I love your commandments more than gold, more than fine gold. Truly, I direct my steps by all your precepts. I hate every false way. P 
people were bringing even infants to him, that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the little children come to me and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. A certain ruler asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honour your father and mother, he replied. I have kept all these since my youth. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, There is still one thing lacking. Sell all that you own and distribute the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. But when he heard this, he became sad, for he was very rich. Jesus looked at him and said, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard it said, Then who can be saved? He replied, What is impossible for mortals is possible for God. Then Peter said, Look, we have left our homes and followed you. And he said to them, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God who will not get back very much more in this age and in the age to come eternal life. We say the Benedictus. You show mercy to our ancestors and remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You sh show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. That this day and all our days may be full of your praise, we pray to you, O Lord, that you will keep us this day without sin. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bless your people and lift them up forever. We pray to you, O Lord, 
that you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.